Well, welcome back. Um, this is the third video of Twisty Puzzle Math. Um, I, I did want to say that you know if you're a, a mathematician or you're, you have a degree in math or you've been cubing for a long time, uh, some of these videos might seem a little simplistic. But I'm trying to, to start from very basic principles and, and bring everyone up to speed. So hopefully we'll get to uh, more sophisticated topics uh, later on in the video series. So I apologize if um, anyone's bored at the moment. All right, so what I want to talk about now um, are, are, are a couple ideas. We want to start with the, the cycle notation. And I'm going to warn you ahead of time that I do this a little sloppy. I'll point out where I do it. But the, the basic idea is, is if I do a move uh, on the cube, um, you, you want to be able to write down what happened. And you want to be able to analyze what happened to, to say something uh, interesting about it. So... For example, let, let's, let's analyze this move, which we'll be discussing later anyway. I'll sometimes write minus ones, and I'll sometimes write primes. I apologize if that's confusing. If I do this move to the cube, so I have f r, f prime, r prime, what you notice is that the only pieces that were affected are these. And this move actually has a name. Um, it's called a Z commutator, and we'll talk about commutators um, later. And it didn't it didn't move very many pieces. And um, let's let's look at the pieces and talk about them. So first of all, we want a bit to talk about uh, each QB, each piece of the puzzle, and uh, what happened to it during a move. So we can record these things in our in our notebooks or, or what have you when we're trying to solve a puzzle. So when you're looking at a puzzle, um, this piece right here is in the upper left front spot. So U, L, F. This one right here is up front. I only need two letters for it. This one is up front right. Notice that I use lowercase letters to describe the actual piece of the puzzle, and I use capital letters to describe the physical movement that I, I'm doing to the cube. We don't um, label uh, centers because they don't go anywhere. Uh, here's another edge. This would be the um, front right. This would be the down front right. Uh, this edge right here would be down right, and this back edge would be down right back. Okay, So these are the pieces that have been uh, changed due to this move. And here's how we're going to, to write those changes. We use parentheses, and I can start with upper left front. And the, the up left front piece, that was green, yellow, red, that went over here. So I write it um, from left to right. The up left front piece went to the up right front piece. Now, sorry about that. Up right front, that was green, red, yellow. Uh, oh, sorry, white, I apologize. That's just where we came from. So these two switched. So this notation with the parentheses tells us that this is a two cycle. The two is because there are two pieces. It's a cycle because if we do this move again, these two pieces swap again. And here's where I'm sloppy. I, I don't usually bother to include minuses or pluses because it's not just that these corners or even edges eventually switch places. They also undergo uh, twisting. And that'll be evident in a minute. I don't usually bother, bother for my own sake. Uh, maybe these videos will make me more um, compliant, but not yet. So that was a two cycle on the corners. There's another two cycle on corners down here. If So I'll start another set of parentheses. I have um, down, uh, front, right. That's the white, red, and blue. White, red, blue is over here. So the down, front, right went down, back, right. And then the down, back, right 
is uh, in front. So that's another two cycle on the corners. Now for edges, the up front edge, that's a uh, green and red, um, that's right here. So up front went to uh, front right. Front right was red and white. Um, that's over here. So front right went to um, uh, right down. And right down is white blue. And that's where we started. So I closed the parenthesis off. So this is the three cycle. Which, and what this says is that the up front piece went to the front right spot. And that piece went to the right down spot. And the right down spot went to the up front spot. That's why it's a cycle. It doesn't matter what order you write this in. So this is the same as writing F R R D U F, or the same as R D U F F R. These are all the same, right? And there are three cycles. Okay. So that seems kind of confusing. What's the payoff? Why, why would we bother with all this extra formalism? So this move right here, what it does is it moves, uh, whoops, that's bad. It moves these two corners, it swaps them. It moves uh, these two corners, and then it moves these three um, edges. And so if you do this move again, you can predict what's going to happen. The corners are going to be restored to their original location. Now, they might be twisted. In fact, they will be twisted. So you'll end up with a three cycle um, on edges and a twist on corners. So if I do it again, F R, F prime, R prime, you can see that this corner is where it belongs. This corner is where it belongs. This corner is where it belongs. And this corner is where it belongs. So it, it gives you a, a twist. And, and you could write this. Um, so uh, up, left, front. That is a clockwise twist. Um, up, right, front. That's a, a clockwise twist. So these other ones are going to be um, counterclockwise. So down, front, right, counterclockwise, and then um, uh, down, back, right, counterclockwise. And then again, the same cycle. It doesn't matter how I write it. Now, if I do the move uh, one more time, you should be able to predict that doing the move three times should return all of the edges to where they started. So F, R, F prime, R prime. And now the edges have been returned to their initial spot, and we only have the corners that have been swapped. Okay, so F R F prime R prime cubed results in um, two corner pair swaps. So this kind of notation, you you do a basic move, and then you can predict what kind of other moves um, you, can, you can get out of it. Um, maybe there are three cycles or five cycles or two cycles or what have you, or, or, or twisting the corners or some, some such thing that will allow you to, um, to build more complicated moves or more useful moves um, out of these basic things. All right, I'm going to cut the video off there and um, work on the next video.